Today I'm going to show you how to make a portfolio cover page that is totally awesome. We're going to do that using your own portrait photography. So learn how to make a portfolio cover page for your website or any social media account that you have. What is up people, welcome back to Tutorial Graphics, the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. Let's jump right into today's tutorial on how to make a portfolio cover page that's also going to work for social media accounts. In the description below is a link for all dimensions for 2018 social media banner artwork. So check it out and find out what pixel size to use for your social media artwork. So once you've opened up your image in Photoshop, you will need to open up the layers window. Double click the layer to unlock it like so. To enhance the image somewhat, we're going to open up the curves window here and then you can play around with each end of the line, seeing what works for your image. The lighting effect that you've used will determine what effect this has on your portfolio cover design. We're going to use a dodge and burn tool next, so create a new layer and then name it dodge and burn. Double click the foreground colour in the colour palette and then make sure the CMYK values are 0, 0, 0 and 50. Then with that layer selected in the layer window, press Alt and Backspace to fill the layer and then change the blend mode to soft light. You will find the dodge tool here. Make sure the exposure is really low, I'm using 2% and also a soft brush. The idea is to click and rub along any highlighted areas to enhance and make them appear softer. Take your time to do this and you will see a gradual change in your design. You can go up to around 5% of exposure if you want, but I suggest to keep it very low, around 2%. You will notice that on the dodge and burn layer that you are having an effect, albeit quite subtle. So if you go back to the dodge tool, you will notice the burn tool below. This is used in the same way as the dodge tool, but it's good for bringing out shadows rather than highlights. So use both of these tools on the shadows and the highlights of your design to make a visually appealing effect on your portfolio cover page. When you're ready, go up to a layer and flatten image. Unlock that layer and now press Command or Control J to duplicate it. On the top layer, go up to Filter, Blur and Surface Blur. You can adjust the slider until you see fit, but we want to make a really blurry outcome. Once it's finished, take the eraser tool and a soft brush and a somewhat low opacity and rub out the areas of interest such as your face and your head. You can drop the opacity of the entire layer down a little too. So next, in this tutorial on how to make a portfolio cover page, we want to flatten the image once again. Unlock the layer and add a gradient like so. I like to use this purple to orange gradient, but you can experiment with your portfolio cover page. Adjust the gradient direction and the slider until you're happy, and then click OK.
Press Command or Control J to duplicate the layer, and then change the blend mode on one of them to overlay, and then to screen on the other one. Now play around with the opacity of these two layers until you're happy. Take time to experiment with this, so you do have an awesome portfolio cover page design. We're nearly finished, but I have one more trick to show you next. If your portfolio cover page is not the right size, grab the crop tool and stretch out the image like so. Then grab the marquee tool and make a selection over one side. Hit Command or Control T to select it and then stretch it over the edge. Press Command or Control D to deselect and then do the same on the other side. So this can help you adjust your portfolio cover page for uses on social media as well as your website. Like I said in the description is a link to different sizes for each different social media site in 2018. And so there is today's tutorial on how to make a portfolio cover page that is totally awesome. If you did enjoy today's video, let me know with a like and a comment, and also share this video on social media if you do find it useful. Remember to subscribe to Satoru Graphics for weekly graphic design content. I mostly upload 4 videos per week Monday to Friday. And have a superb weekend everybody, and until next time, design your future today. Peace.